pissing themselves. So I, I got a, a story for you, Howard. So I haven't seen Roy Farrell in several years. And, you know, he's the medical director down at Holy Cross. And Holy Cross sends St. Mary's a lot of patients. And so he was up there last uh, last week. He had some administrative duties, and he's in the doctor's lounge. And I saw him, and I sat down, and I'm talking to him. And it was, you know, just fun catching up. And so he told me, you know, he's an avid bicyclist. And down in Tubac, where he lives, there's this trail. He likes to trail bike sometimes. And it goes along this branch, a cow ranch. And he's riding along, and all of a sudden he sees this dead cow with its head in the tr- right in the trail. So he hit his brakes, and his front tire caught in the sand, and he high-sided the bike and landed on the cow's head and got gored by the cow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You yeah. got gored, gored by a dead cow. So... It just missed his nuts and hit him like right here. I mean, could you imagine if it caught him in his nuts? He's had a lot of bicycle accidents come in with various races and stuff like that. So, yeah, he, had that, he, he went to uh, the Holy Cross ER and they just said, oh, we don't know what to do. So he came up to the university and they mucked around with him. And, like, that's where we came from. Yeah. Yeah, I think that guy's uh, rock climbing. He's got a rope there. Yeah. Look at that guy over there. What the hell is he doing? Yeah. 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 You, won't, you won't see me doing this. You see how close I'm getting here, Howard? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> Oh, it's just, yeah, oh, it's just beautiful out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, with the sun, though, on me, I'm completely comfortable. Yeah. I'm sure if we get into, like, a shaded area, I'm going to feel a trap a good amount. It's just beautiful. Yeah. The first time I came, well, this is your first time on a bike, but the first time on my bike with Howard, I was just amazed how yeah. cool it was. About another two miles up here, there's a big natural arch that you'll see on the left-hand side of the road. I never, I never knew, knew it was there. there. Yeah. Came up on a bike. Really? Because in a car, it's kind of a bug. Yeah. And so I'm like, who the hell did they put that? you got to point it out so I can, like, try to pan the camera to it. You'll see a sign that says, who do this Okay. And uh, it, it's just maybe a quarter mile past that on the left, and it does set up by a little bit. Okay. Play out for that too. Cool. <laughs> I hated rock climbing, but I liked repelling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what he was saying, yeah. The thin air, and it t- can't adjust for it. Yeah. 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 How do I release the parking brake on this thing?
trying to release the parking brake. I have no idea how to. Alex, why don't you follow me? Hold on. Okay. I don't, I don't know how to release your parking brake. Should be like a butt. There we go. You just got to really press it. All right, Howard, I'm going to follow you. Alex, let me go first. Okay, go for it. All right. I can't see you at all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got no cars in front of us. We can actually move a little bit here. Look at this. We're going 50. Yeah. Do Vista Point? Is this what he was talking about? Yeah. I don't know what Archie's talking about. He said it was up on the left. Maybe he'll point to it. This thing. Oh, I see it. Cool. Well, at least there's a guardrail here. Yeah. Are you recording? Yeah. Cool. Oh, I actually used the bar of gas already. Yeah, me too. Or at least so it says. Because when it said it was a half tank, I only filled up one gallon. Yeah. And I know this is at least a three gallon tank. This could be where we uh, went hiking somewhere in here. Yeah. When, we, when you were a kid. It was somewhere in here on the right. Uh -huh. I remember that. That's the only thing I remember about it. Is that a Beamer? Either like that, that or that Ducati. Yeah, I think that's a Beamer. What do you think our elevation is now? Six or seven? Uh, I don't know. At least seven. Yeah. How are you feeling the cold? Fine. Wow. Because I'm feeling a little bit of, yeah, so 7,000 right here. Yeah. See, he moves the scooter pretty well. Yeah. And I mean, we're not going slow. Yep. We're not going fast, but we're not going slow. Yep. So we got 2,000 more feet to go up. Okay. Probably about seven or eight miles. I feel like recently we've been going at a higher uh, rate of speed, both in uh, elevation as well as mile per hour. So yeah, probably. We'll be climbing fast. There's going to be some uh, straightaways up here too. Uh -huh. I don't know if he'll. He won't go very fast on him, but yeah. eight miles to go.
I'm just cruising in fourth. Silently gliding by. <laughs> Twisty. It's awesome, isn't it? Yeah. Look at this forest. Yeah. I guess if I, I can say there's one good thing about this bike, it likes to take turns. Yeah. I just wish it had a little more tire. Yeah. Right hand going numb. Yeah. Uh, twist and release the throttle some. On and off. Look at this. Like we're in Colorado. That's nice. You can see the antennas up here on the left. That's the, the summit. See it? Yep. Yeah, this bike likes the wind. Yeah. And look at all these cars and these parking lots. I think this is where we went hiking, is this Bigelow. Yeah. At Rings a bell. Oh, I don't know about you, but I'm cold. I'm fine. Wow. <laughs> 